Hi family, my name is Melita. If you don't know that because you're new here. If you're new, welcome. And if you're old, welcome back. All right fam, I am back with another video and it is about this wig that I'm wearing. Listen, I have been obsessing with it and I've been getting a lot of compliments. Some people actually think it's my natural hair and sometimes I go with it and sometimes I'll be like, you know, I know it's not, it's a wig. And now that it's getting warmer, this wig is perfect. But uh, I'm going to go into more details in a minute. If you are not yet subscribed, please be sure to subscribe. Join the family. When you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you will never miss an upload from me again. Let's get into it. Okay, guys. So this hair is from BLY Hair. 100% human hair. And um, it came in with a wig cap as usual and their aftercare service. This is a 10-inch kinky curly hair. And straight out the backs, this is what it looks like. Um, I actually do like the curls. They feel really nice so far. So I definitely do hope that they keep up. And that's what the lace look like. It is bleached but not super bleached. So it's like the traditional wigs that come with the combs and uh, everything. So I'm trying it on. I adjusted the stripe. And um, if it's nice, this is what the parting look like. So it's a 4x4 four four closure. And I'm not bleaching it, so I'm going to be going in with a uh, foundation. I already installed an elastic band for extra security. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply my foundation to the lace because I didn't feel the need to bleach it. And for the most part, I do not bleach most of my wigs. So that's what it looks like after applying the uh, foundation. And then I went back to put it on my head because i'm about to cut the extra lace and then uh, go in with just doing the baby hair so it came a little plugged pre-plugged but because it's a curly hair i'm not going to be doing more plugging and plus it's amazon hair so i try to be careful when i get hair from amazon to do on the plugin and again the plugin wasn't even necessary so I'm cutting it and as you can see I'm trying to like cut it in a zigzag motion so it doesn't get like that straight blonde cut for the lace so it gives it a lot more realistic look and I just be careful when you're cutting your lace if you cannot cut it while it's on your head I suggest you do an American American head or if you have someone to cut it for you have them do it just you know to make sure you don't mess up on your lace so i'm going in with my rat tail comb and just picking out a little bit of um hair from the front there to make my baby hair and usually when i cut my baby hair i cut it really really short so what i'm going to be showing you there is just a pre-cut for the most part i do actually end up going in later on and uh, cutting it again so yeah I'm just going in with my razor comb to um, shape it to where I want it to be. Those are long, like I said. I will go back in again and end up cutting it. And you guys, I have, I have been getting kinky straight hair, but this is actually my first time getting kinky curly hair. And this hair was very affordable. Uh, yeah, so like I'm just doing the... um. I just just laying and giving them direction and this is what the hair look like when you uh, finger comb it because I just use my finger in there and what I'm gonna do is show you one side when it's dry and then show you one side of the wet hair because I myself do I really do want to see how it's gonna look like and I like it so far like it's gonna be big so I got that um mousse i'm trying it for the first time it's a wig and weave mousse it's by shea moisture and uh, it's supposed to help with fly and weight fly away and stuff like that so yeah okay so i'm going in um in that spray bottle that i showed you the mason bottle i have 
leave-in conditioner and all my oils that's what i'm using on my wig usually when i get my wigs especially the human hairs i use the same product that i will use on my natural hair on it i know natural hair product is expensive but so is the wig so i mean just take care of it if you gonna if you want it for a long term the better you take care of it the better it will last in my opinion so yeah and i'm just going in there with my finger you can use your brush if you want to um yeah so that's what the curls are coming up looking like now that um so once you put water inside they become a little softer because they're kinky is a kinky hair the dry part you have to put water and stuff in it to and other products to make it soft i don't know if you get what i'm saying right so i'm just drenching it as much as possible to see how much thinner it'll look or how little it will look because they did say it is 150 percent density and again i wouldn't say complete is 150 percent density i probably say like 140 or so so that's what it looks like on the dry side and that's what it looks like on the wet side and um, again look at the parting space it's deep it's really nice and the wet side is okay but i'm here for the dry side like you know you see how big it looks and that's what it looks like in the back as well so i did go ahead and wet the other side too and i'm going in with my wig and weave mousse and um yeah that's what the hair look like so i'm going back i'm going in with hot comb to uh flatten it the hair is a little wet so yeah but when you're using your hot comb be careful so you don't end up burning yourself or burning your lips but i've been using hot comb for a minute so um i kind of know what to do and yeah i'm just flattening it so i did not put much product in it because i did plan on washing on the wig and you guys this is what it looks like this is what my edges are but i like i said i'm gonna go back into fixing the edges again so i'm going in with concealer to give that part in to make it more clean and sharp and vibrant if you would say and yeah that's what the wig look like so i did go ahead and wash it when i washed it i put in my leave-in conditioner i put in my canton curling cream and on um, the shea moisture hair and wig stuff and uh, that's what the hair was looking like nice it dried overnight and you guys it been bomb ever since then i love it okay so this is the wig when it is fully dry and it's like two days old so the the more the days go back the bigger it gets it's literally like natural hair it is literally like my natural hair but um my natural hair is better than it because i mean it's my hair but no you guys this hair acts as your natural hair it is really nice and kinky like i said it's my first time actually owning kinky hair but um, i am loving this and i definitely plan on investing in some more i did mention that this is a 10 inch i love where it falls and when it curls up it's like it gets bigger and bigger just like your wash and go would do first day is nice and on you know a little shrinkage and stuff but then as they go by days go by it get bigger and fluffy that's what i like i definitely like this hair in a fluffy stage because again it reminds me of my natural hair i will leave the amazon link to um I will leave their link so you can check it out if you want to. I'll say it's worth it and um, for the price, it's really, really, it's a good quality hair. I can tell you that for sure. So I'm going to show you again the products that I've been using to uh, maintain this hair because I have been having it for two weeks. And for the last two weeks, I own this hair. I have not experienced like drastic tangling or shedding because normally certain hair that i get i will literally like when i'm i go in the bathroom and brush it out i will see hair all over my bathroom floor i have not experienced that with this i do um conditioner it that's the only thing i wash it with with my shea moisture conditioner like i said i treat my wigs just like i would treat my own hair because i pay for them and i want them to last so i use my shea moisture conditioner to conditioner it and then just and this is the brush i have been using to um detangle this hair and this brush is a saver 
on your natural hair and on your curly wigs or any of your wigs at all i really really love it it does it does wonder i think i believe is it the tango teaser i don't even know what it's called i well i can't remember the name but this is such a good brush i will leave and this is the product i've been talking about the mousse this is my first time using this mousse but guys i'm hooked on it i do plan on actually not do plan i actually order two more it's supposed to be here in a few days and uh, it is their wig and weave mousse this mousse like i was wondering why my hair wasn't freezing like why didn't i have flying waves then when i was uh, doing my voiceover i looked on it and it said uh, uh, for flyaways too so i said oh okay it makes sense this mousse is it because i ran out of lala body and i was trying to get some but the price was a little out there so i just like okay then this one came as a suggestion i was like you know what let me just do it after her it's for my wig but um this is a good mousse and it's the shade is by shea moisture i will leave the link down below as well and another thing I go in, uh, I been, I go in with with my curly hair is my Cantu curling cream. I just put a little bit in there and just like shrink it up, just like I would do for my wash and goes, and it works. It hasn't been giving the hair any problem. It been doing good for the hair, so we're gonna. See. Also, in this mason bottle, I have all my oil mix and water and leave-in conditioner because that's what i spray through my hair during the week and my daughter's hair so once i wash my hair or when i'm ready to wear it and i feel like it's a little too dry i just go in and then just mace it just to on uh, you know keep it nice and refreshed it works it works like i said all of these products i have been using on my hair on this hair hasn't been giving it any problem so definitely this is this is a good hair when i'm washing uh, my wigs i wash them with lukewarm water i do not wash my wigs with hot water because i don't know what's gonna happen certain wigs we add to certain things so I, i'm very careful so i wash this hair with lukewarm water and it been working perfectly i experienced shedding but not massive shedding like just a little bit of hair in the brush and that's about it and um uh, even in in like the back of the nape has not been tangling out on me like i really really love this hair when it gets bigger and bigger like this hair is beautiful i do plan on investing in the longer length maybe like the 14 inch just so i can touch my shoulder but that would be for like four four ish because right now this is perfect for the spring the summer and um it is let me mention another thing it is big head friendly actually because um I looked at the cap size is very it has stretch it has enough room to stretch and then it has the adjustable strap so you can adjust it again i do pull um elastic bands in my wigs just for added security but even if you didn't pull elastic band you should be able to get away with it still you guys saw how it was when i put it on right off the back but um i like to be extremely secure so i do put elastic band in my wigs I think like for Amazon wig, this wig is very nice. It's um soft. Thank you all so 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 much for watching. This brings us to the end of this video. I hope you I mean if you plan on checking this wig out, let me know. And if you get it, let me know what was your experience, how it's um going for you. If you are not yet subscribed, please be sure to subscribe. When you do, hit that notification bell so you will never miss an upload from me again. I will catch you in my next video. Bye.